Hello, I'm Dr. Joyce Bassett out of Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm a general dentist, and this is Monday morning. I walk into a new patient exam, and I look at this radiograph, and I see this dark area in the middle of the tooth on the upper right bicuspid. You know, when we work on these patients and we restore their dentition back to normal, and then they come back and they say, hey, you know, I was perfect until you started working on my tooth, and now I have all these problems. So I'm thinking, what am I gonna do here? So I take a look at the radiograph and there's no periapical abscess, which is good. Then I look at the bite wing. And when I see the bite wing, I say, hey, there could be a little bit of space between the decay and the pulp. So I'm thinking sandwich technique from back in the day. And I used to use Dical right on top of the nerve and then glass ionomer over the top. But today, we have better products because of the ingredients and their physical properties and the handling is amazing. So I'm gonna to utilize today's products. So let's go over how we would do this case. We would remove the decay until we see pink. Once we see pink, we know we're a half a millimeter from the pulp, so we're gonna stop. We're gonna use this Theracal as a deep liner and we can use it for both direct and indirect. We can place it right over the pulp if we had an exposure and it's asymptomatic, and then again, half a millimeter from the pulp when we're removing it. The reason we're using it is because it's an alkaline pH and it creates a dentin bridge over time and it helps with hydroxyapatite formation. We're only gonna use a little dot, one miller increment. It doesn't bond to the tooth. It's not supposed to bond to the tooth because it's alkaline and it's gonna help being a deep liner. Now the next layer I'm gonna use is called Therabase. And Therabase is a dual cure self-adhesive. And the reason we want dual cure is in case of it's super deep and you can't get the light to it all the way, it will keep curing on its own. It's self-adhesive because it has MTP in it and MDP chemically bonds to the tooth. It's gonna release fluoride and calcium. The calcium release is gonna help create that alkaline environment that we need, which is very, very basic. And that's gonna promote pulp vitality. It has high compressive strength, so it's gonna absorb shock. So when it bites, it's gonna be able to have a really good physical property up against the pulp. And it has high flexural strength, so it won't fracture. The physical properties are gonna make this material a better alternative than glass ionomers and resin glass ionomers. Therabase and Theracal are both hydrophilic, which means they're not gonna dissolve under the restoration over time, like Dical used to. So let's look at a case. This tooth has been prepared and the pulp is visual. So we're gonna place a millimeter increment of Theracal on top of the pulp. Then we're gonna light cure it. Then we're gonna place the Therabase and then we're gonna light cure it. Then we're gonna evaluate the preparation and how much enamel is left on the tooth. And we can see a ring of enamel. So we're gonna use a selective etch technique and etch the enamel and then rinse that off. Then we're gonna use our bonding agent light cure that and then restore the restoration in the posterior usually bulk fill and here's our final restoration so next time you see a pulp think about the sandwich technique and utilizing both of these products thank you